Hi students. Moving on to the next question of the chapter Haloalkanes and Haloarenes, we have again a two important questions. Look at these two structures carefully. In this reaction, actually, uh, the two structures follow one important reaction. We call that as nucleophilic substitution reaction. That is, OH has to be replaced by the halogen. So how will I do this? Because the question demands for the major product of these reactions. So here you will notice there are two OH groups. See one OH attached directly to the benzene ring. There is another OH attached to the CH2 group. And it is not directly attached to the benzene ring. So first identify which OH can be replaced with this halogen. The halogen here is C. It is just a replacement of OH by OH- minus by Cl-. minus. This is what you need to look for in this reaction. But the question is whether the OH directly attached to the benzene ring or the OH which is attached to the CH2 and not directly attached to the benzene ring. The answer for this is the OH which is not directly attached to the benzene ring is getting replaced. Now everyone can think why it is like that. When I close this particular structure and check this carefully, this may be looking like phenol and we all know that phenol undergo resonance. Phenol undergo resonance which you studied in class 11 and resonance leads to partial double bond. So where do we find this partial double bond in this structure? The partial double bond is noticed over here in this area as a result of which the nucleophilic substitution reaction becomes difficult or replacement with halogen becomes difficult. As a result, what happens to the final answer? The final answer is nothing but you draw the benzene ring and this OH is undisturbed. Whereas we get the answer CH2Cl and the byproduct because the OH combines with this H and become into H2O. This is a major product of this particular reaction. We are not supposed to attack this OH because of resonance which leads to partial double bond and it is highly difficult to undergo this kind of replacement of OH with Cl that is halogen atom. Moving on to the second question. What is the difference between the first question and the second question? Here, the OH is attached to the benzene ring, so it involves in resonance. Whereas in this structure, it is called as cyclohexane. And there is no possibility for the resonance. So what should I understand here? No resonance takes place. And the, there is no partial double bond. As a result, this bond is a single bond itself. So, the reaction is going to occur. There is no resonance and therefore the OH is replaced by the halogen. So, the final major product for this is we need to draw the cyclohexane again. And in the place of OH, this OH is replaced by Cl which is nothing but the cyclohexane is substituted with the halogen plus the byproducts here are SO2 and HCl. We all know that SO2 and HCl are two escapable gases. They escape from the reaction vessel faster as a result of which this is a preferred reaction. Using this compound is a preferred reaction because the name of this compound is thionyl chloride. So, I'm trying to solve for you one more important topic in this question that is why thionyl chloride reactions are preferred. The reason is the two escapable gases SO2 and HCl will escape from the reaction vessel. Therefore, we are able to get pure alkyl halides.